Callum, your thoughts on the game? Um, I've talked in the opening two games about separating result and performance. Um, really, really pleased with the performance, with the manner of it, uh, with the type of football we're trying to play, the, the energy levels, the... We look really dynamic, we look like we're creating chances. I think that is um, one thing I'm determined to do is not constantly reflect on last year and use it as direct comparisons, what I'm going to. Um, that is a more progressive football team, a football team that will create more chances. And on another night, we take one of those chances. Mm -hmm. Nothing was ever really clean for us in around the 18 yard box that I've been with. We've talked about that after the game, that that last bit, we take real care in the build up. We take real care in, I thought the way that we got behind their defence time and time again in the opening 30 minutes. Um, was really really pleasing but that last bit um, just to make sure that we're able to finish a move off that'll come with three games in so really really pleased performance frustrated with the result because I think we've done enough to win the game um, you might even say we had them on the ropes and you might even say that at times we, we had them in a little bit of a corner um, and I'm really really pleased with the, the manner of performance so um, they will come here and feel like they put us on the back foot uh, at the towards the end of the season um, and they'll feel tonight and they'll put a really, really good away performance on. I'm delighted with my team that we've been able to put a Chorley side that are always in and around the playoffs, right on the back foot. Um, back to back clean sheets Saturday, Tuesday. And I can tell the smile on my face. Um, really, really pleased with what could have been a challenging couple of days. You can see their reaction, the players' reaction at the end. I mean, it, they obviously considered that a good result coming to the Diva and getting a goalless draw. That, that's how far we've come um so i don't look at the direct comparison with the chorley game on i think it was good friday it was around the easter period that is obviously the direct comparison playing hereford here last year where i thought we played really well mm -hmm. similar game i think we played better tonight and we found a way to lose it look how much more resilient we are robust strong i listen to the crowd the crowd really believe the players really believe and that's exciting because that's progress so won't get too wrapped up in punch returns won one lost one draw one in the opening three games of the season what you've got to be really pleased about is the foundations. And I, I can't be a hypocrite and go, oh, we've had some players with knocks. We're in a phase where we've got five or six players that were just trying to get up to speed. Um, some of those started this evening, some came on. That could have posed a real challenge between the two fixtures, the Kings Lynn and the Chorley game against two sides that will have fancied themselves to be right up there. Um, and to have two clean sheets, to be really pleased with both performances and get four points out of those games got to reflect really positively and um, yeah like I said there's a smile on my face about everything other than the result but if I'm going to be as uh, narrow-minded short-sighted that I'm only going to analyse our performance based on the result um, that's not going to be a healthy way to do this job. Just to expand on the point you've you know, just made an hour in the legs of weeks and then what was it 20-25 minutes uh, with Glendon? How does that work? <laughs> Glendon came on for weeks if weeks played 60 minutes Glendon played 25. Referee played the game short. Ah, right, okay. I like <laughs> that. You can talk about officials, I'm not allowed to. Um, yeah, it is that. So, um, just trying to build deck back up again. Got a little <clears throat> sort of fatigue based injury. Um, we've done that, and we've done that over the weekend, haven't we, really? We did 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Hopefully, we'll be better off um, heading into the weekend. And George Glendon uh, is ready to go minutes wise. Mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to build him up at the moment, um, but we're doing that all the time. I think the most exciting thing about George. And look, on that, I was really, really disappointed with myself on Saturday because I was determined to come and tell you how pleased I was for the club medical staff to see Glenno return to competitive action. And I forgot to do that in amongst my rage. Um, and I was really, really pleased. I think Kev Roberts, Luke Davis, supported by Tom King, have, have done some brilliant work with George over a 12 month period. Um, I think the biggest compliment is that it doesn't look like he's been away. He wants to take the ball, he wants to play forwards. He, he passes it with the outside of his foot. He does things that players at this level can't. So that's really, really pleasing for us. But you've seen equally, lads, Ollie Haywood's got his first minutes of the season. Cole Hall's looked tremendous over the two games. Um, we've had a back line there, the goalkeeper, two centre-halves that have been able to keep two clean sheets. I'm really, really pleased. It's not always great when you don't have the points return that you might have like over the opening three games. But I'm, um, I'm certainly really, really chuffed for the individuals, for the group. Um, and we've just got to build on that ahead of an away fixture on Saturday. And then a, a sort of double-header bank holiday game where we're going to try and boost that points return. What's really important is that some of the principles that I think we've hammered home over the last 10 days um, have just got to be at the forefront of everything that we do. And I, I've enjoyed watching the players, I'll be honest, over the last 180, game, uh, 180 games, 180 minutes. Um, we're clearly determined to improve at home. Uh, I think too many times last season we were a nil. Tonight we were a nil, but we probably deserved a little bit more. We created, we looked a threat. Um, and look, we've got a lot of belief. And on that, I'm sure you're probably going to ask me about it, but a word for some of those young players. because. Well, 
Starlight, you asked the questions. Reese Daly seems to be maturing game by game. Yeah, he's uh, he's good. He's good. It's a reflection on the way that Mikey Orcock does, to be honest. Our, our academy head coach and first team coach is as talented as they come. Someone I think a lot of, someone that I can't do without. I can barely go two hours without speaking to him, to be honest. Um, Reese is one of his off the production line. Reese, I, I have the same conversation with all the time. Do you want me to be a mate all the time, Reese? Mm. And he looks at me with that same expression that he does and moves his lips and goes, no. And I rung him on Saturday and said, you'll be our best player today, Pat. He said, I know, I know Gaffer, I will. Mm. He's got bags of ability, bags mm. of potential, athletic qualities, and he will improve. But there's a lot of work. Let's be be really real. What we, what we have here is a, a mentality where we will produce those players daily, Haywood, Burke, Murray to some extent um, out of the academy obviously a slightly different age bracket that's really really exciting for us to be able to call on those young players and it's important because if the club is going to thrive and we're going to be resourced perhaps slightly differently than others we need to rely on those young players and I think uh, you can lose sight of that because of the amount of games that they play because mm. they've played so many first team games and um, they're really young and we're really pleased but yeah uh, pleased with Reese, pleased with his contribution over the Saturday Tuesday um, the bit now is to push him even more, but he, he certainly deserves some recognition. Now you move on, you mentioned it, Banbury United on Saturday. Yeah. Um, awkward fixture. Yeah, they're all awkward. None of them seem to get any closer either. Um, look, we had a brilliant away record last year that we've undone already. That might not be a bad thing because I, I can probably speak a little bit more openly and honestly now I was really disappointed with the manner of the Bishop Storford performance from all of us. When we play badly, 80% of it's the manager, 20% of it's the players, that's why I choose to manage. I might be wrong, but it's certainly how I feel. Um, and I just thought we perhaps didn't, some of the principles, some of the stuff that, for want of a better phrase, makes us us, uh, we didn't do that. That's the reality. Um, we didn't hammer home um, what has put us on the road with a really, really strong away record. So, will we match last year's 21 games unbeaten away from home? We'll have a right good go. That's the reality. What I want is a better punch return, but it's finding that balance, so we'll go. We're we'll really solid. We'll probably look very, very different than we did tonight. Um, and we'll look to turn tonight. Well, it was a good performance, frustrating point. It might be a good point if we're able to put three on the board on Saturday. But for me, the work between now and Saturday will be really making sure we have principles away from home that we fought hard for and that we a lot of work goes into that. Let's make sure that we're, we're really real. We have real clarity on those ahead of the weekend. Um, so look, probably would have wanted some more points. That's the nature. Um, but I'm really pleased with where we're at the moment. And to be honest, at the moment, with the way the club is, with the way the, the team are, the group is, can't wait for Thursday morning to get back on the training ground. I can't wait for the game Saturday.